everybody how we doing today beautiful day here in florida keys got a little bit of a breeze to it but the sun is out 75 degrees and tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 50s so out here trying to take advantage of it the plan was go cast net some pilchards on this flat and then go hit the bridges but the pilchards are gone the pelicans are gone i spent the last half hour cruising all along here nothing they're all gone so i'm going to check on the uh the leeward side over there and uh, if i can't find those we're gonna have to figure out a plan b not good well one of the options on these kind of days is i got one of the cuda tubes and i could work these uh oops work these sand spots and see if there's any cooters around oh something swiped at it there we go oh it looks like a little houndfish or needlefish or a small cuda oh oh small cuda you're hungry you've done lost give up give up big shark's gonna come Yay, skunks off the boat. Hungry. Ah, bite size. Got two fees though. Man, he got solidly hooked. There. You are free, stink bomb. Oh, took a swipe at it. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, dang it. Oh, 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 there he goes. Whoa. Got stuck. Green Cuda tube to the rescue. Big shark's gonna come get you. Come on. I'm here. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Nice. Green Cuda tube to the rescue. He's angry. Not pleased. Oh, don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth. Sorry, man. Gotta crack that baby. Alright. Green tube and tube to the rescue. He did one load, so. Must be there. Oh! There he goes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Speedy. 
speedy unhappy. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, oh. That's one thing, uh, the kudos don't care about the cold weather. They are fine with it. Man, these guys are tough. I like to fight. Fight, fight, fight. Ugh. Ugh, another good one. Oh, don't lose the cuda tube. You've been cuda tubed. You don't look happy. Green cuda tube. <laughs> all right, get you out of here. Crap, look at all the jacks. <laughs> They're busting on everything out here. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Hopefully you're enjoying the video. I'm out there catching a bunch of cooters. Uh, but the reason for today's video is to discuss a little bit about cold fronts and how they affect our Florida Keys fishery. Um, now one thing to remember is, is that we are not in a cold climate area, more subtropical, uh, meaning our average winter temps are generally in the mid 70s to low 80s throughout winter time. Uh, occasionally when there's a big storm front that pushes through the mainland US on the east coast, we'll get that peripheral run and our temps will drop into the 60s and the occasional 50s. Now when that happens, a couple things changes. One is you're walking around, uh, the locals are going to be dressed up in their ski gear and scarves and mittens and then right next to them will be a tourist in shorts and t-shirts and sunglasses with a beach towel heading towards the beach. All right, so it impacts things in a different way, but uh, also impacts our fish as well. So in today's video, I'm kind of going to go over some tips and tricks on how to deal with it if you happen to come down during one of those uh, dips and uh, give you some tips on uh, what things to target, what not to target, kind of save your time and increase your odds. So let's get into it. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by this guy, the Baby Cuda Tube. Uh, this is kind of a poor example, but this is the one I actually caught everything on. I was fortunate I found this. It was just stuck in one of my kayak side pouches. Uh, it's all rusty and nasty, but still works. Caught a bunch of fish, and then if I didn't have this thing, I might not caught anything that day. Uh, but uh, also wanted to bring up, I've got the new black Baby Cuda Tube. I can't see it with my black shirt, but... Uh, that's new in there. Um, I do have them in five colors now. Got orange, got the green, the chartreuse, got black, and then uh, pink. There's pink in the middle there. So check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com. Now today's video is a perfect example of how the cold affects our fishery. Um, it was filmed on December 24th. It's a 75 degree day, sunshiny, uh, slight breeze, uh, not much difference than the whole week prior, which was 75 to 80 degrees. Now, I've been wanting to do what I was doing that day, which was go to the Atlantic Flats, cast net a bunch of pilchers, take them out to the, the bridge or out to the reef and use them there. Um, however, that prior week, it just wasn't working out with the wind, so I kind of did other types of fishing. Uh, but that day I was banking on, hey, it's still 75 degrees, it's sunny, it's warm, uh, things still should be the same. Uh, the whole week prior, I was driving past that that uh, flat area there and I'd look out and I'd see those pelicans busting on bait, so I knew those pilchards were still there, so I figured no problem. What I didn't take in consideration was the barometric pressure of a cold front, which was on the 25th, 
where the temps were going to drop into the mid 50s there. So even though it was nice and warm that day and not really anything out of the ordinary, uh, those fish could feel that storm coming with because of that pressure and they skedaddled out of there. So that day I was out on the water for about four hours with the, with the exception of that short window where I, where I was catching those kudas, I spent the whole time just drifting that flat looking for uh, schools of bait. Um, I circled a couple islands around there just to make sure they didn't move because a lot of times with the wind they'll go to a different spot or the, the um, water depths they'll find a little bit deeper pockets and couldn't find any, didn't find any glass minnow, didn't find any uh, loose mullet anywhere. It was just barren out there and that was I stayed until pitch dark just to make sure that it wasn't a tide things and they would come in later in the evening. Nothing. And that's how impactful that they were. And that even took me by surprise, that pressure, how much it impacted that fishery. Now, the, the cold part of it is, is that the water temps on the flats, because there's not a lot of volume, it's very shallow there on either the Gulf side or Atlantic side of the US-1 within a mile there, uh, it basically gravitates towards the air temps. So when the air temps get into the 50s like that, those shallow waters might get into low low 60s and that's just way too cold for our fish so they're going to skedaddle out of there and go to deeper water where it's a lot more um, volume of water so it's going to take a lot longer for those temperature changes and like i said earlier most of our cold fronts last two days three days or so and then it goes right back up after that uh, temps move up the water warms up a bit then those fish move back in all right, so let's talk about what's on the menu depending on the air temps there. So uh, 75 degrees and up uh, are normal winter temperatures, pretty much everything. Uh, there's a few limitations like bonefish and juvenile tarpon don't like that cooler water, so they might be a little bit more diff difficult to find. Uh, you pick a sunny day, find some nice shallow sun, uh, sandy spots where it's gonna warm up quicker and then you might find those too. Uh, 65 to 70 start to get that chill in the water uh, that's when those uh, inshore species and bait start moving off to the deeper water but still uh, you can head out to the reef if you can uh, that's 30 foot to 70 foot depths so those aren't going to be affected by that uh, cooler uh, air temps um, then you got the kudas the sharks jacks love that mid cool temperature water so they're out there eating um, you can do the chum and see what comes uh, basically it just you never know so just put that chum back out get out of the wind and then just see what shows up uh, then you get to that 65 to the 50s um, there you're kind of limited to going offshore if you can uh, because the plagics out there aren't affected by the cold uh, they're used to swimming in very cold temps because they go down into the depths and uh, it doesn't affect them I still have the kudas sharks jacks but what happens with them is that cold weather starts slowing their metabolism. They start slowing down, they're not really feeding or not wanting to feed as much. So even though you might see them, they're gonna be harder to get a bite on. Then we start talking that mid 50s and lower. Uh, really, it's kind of a no-go, go drinking, right? Uh, Cause like even going offshore to the reef is generally a no-go because when the, those kind of uh, temperature drops, is because a big storm is pushing through enough to push that cold arctic air down to us so it generally means that you're not going to get out into the water so kind of right off day go drinking uh do some chores uh do tourist stuff but uh yeah probably not the best time to go fishing but uh, that's general good guide to go by there and now speaking to specifically what i was catching that day which is using the cuda tubes and chasing those kudas uh, my tips and tricks on there is I'm always looking for is moving water because the kudas are ambush feeders, uh, predators. So uh, they like to sit in one spot and wait for the food to come by them and they go out and grab it. Okay, So channels tend to be what funnels water so that's their water movement. But I'm not looking to fish the actual channels. I'm looking for the adjacent flats right off of those channels. And I'm not looking for just solid grass. What I'm looking for is broken bottom or uh, sand holes or uh, where it goes grassy to like a, a rock bed edge there because um, what will happen is generally those potholes mean that there's the weeds that go across then there's a dip 
where those uh, sand holes form or the rocks form there and it creates like an eddy and those uh, kudos will sit there and they'll wait for a fish or bait to swim across the top and then wham they'll whack them. So uh, I'll look for those broken bottom potholes, sandy potholes and uh, right along the edge of a channel and just blind cast them. Okay. Now I prefer to do sight casting but you can just blind cast them. Anything within 20 foot of a CUDA, especially that looks like these guys, they're going to chase after them and you're going to see these explosive bites. Super fun, hard hitting, big rip and runs off the beginning, big toothy critters and uh, just a super fun thing to do once you start getting in that 70 degrees down where the other types of fishing might be a little tougher. So check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.